Hey, it's Haley here and I'm just here to talk about Clemson's cat bus for new students and people staying over the summer who want to use a cat bus and I guess just new users in general because I know some of the locals use a cat bus too. And I'll just, uh, I just want to go over a few things that I didn't think was clear on the website and uh, other things I guess, yeah. So... Yeah, if you're not from Clemson, uh, you probably what do you probably think of when you think of a cat bus is this, which disappointingly enough, that's not what they look like. They actually look like this, and you'll see a lot of them around. And well. Obviously, the easiest way to find out information about the cat bus is to go to their actual website, which there are some things that I didn't really think was that clear, like the bike racks. Uh, this summer, I recently bought a bike, and I really had no idea how to use the bike rack, and I felt kind of embarrassed when the uh, bus driver had to help me out because I was taking so long trying to figure it out. And, uh, um, let me pull up. You could probably just look this up online because I figure most bike racks are probably the same. But what I didn't know was, like, okay, the bike rack's up like this. There's a lever you need to pull up, and then the bike rack, bike rack goes down. I didn't know that because I was like, how the heck do you use this thing? And, uh, uh, another thing that might seem obvious to some people is. Oh, how do I get the bus to stop? Well, I know if you're a first time user, you're going to want to sit in the front, but don't do that. Um, sit more towards the back. That way you'll actually see the stop buttons. And what you do is you just hit that before your stop comes up, obviously. And if you want to get back on the bus later, you have to wait for the bus to come by and if it's not like a stop stop for them you should probably wave at them before they go past you uh... it's kind of obvious but you know who knows maybe maybe you don't know um... uh... other things um... what i didn't actually know is okay so you know there's two doors uh... you're supposed to go in the front door. You're, you're not supposed to go in the um, second door or sometimes people will yell at you so <laughs> go on the front door and uh, when you get off the bus I guess you're supposed to get off the back door. I guess that makes sense, right? Uh, sometimes I don't use common sense so yeah um let's see is there anything else? um well uh, how I figured out things was I just went to their website and I just used their little uh, Google Map Transit System thing and that'll tell you where the bus stops are and what time to be there. And uh, usually the buses are a few minutes late, so don't, don't, like, feel bad. And they also tell you not to run for the bus if you miss it and usually bus drivers don't really stop for you, so if you miss the bus you pretty much miss the bus, so. Yeah, mm, let's see, well I guess like the obvious things to go over is uh, don't like bring your fast food on the bus, don't like, you're not supposed to like eat stuff on the bus, you're not supposed to smoke on the bus, you're not supposed to like bring drinks on the bus, that, that sort of thing, you're not supposed to bring your dog on the bus. Um, the uh, seats in the front are actually... You're supposed to give them up for like the uh, elderly and uh, disabled, so that's why I say you should probably sit more towards the back. Um, I think that's all. Um. Okay, like okay. Um. One time I accidentally left my wallet on the bus, so if something like that ever happens to you, you accidentally leave something on the bus that's really important to you, what you should do right away is uh, go to their website, find the bus phone number, call them, 
tell them what you lost, where you lost it, what bus you lost it, just, you know, all the general information. And what the, well, what, what the lady did for me is, uh, she, uh, called the bus driver and the bus driver was able to give my wallet back to me on a later bus stop. And, uh, well, all my cards were in it, but all the money was gone, so... Probably shouldn't lose important things because they probably will get stolen. I was just kind of lucky to be unlucky, yeah. Um, uh, I think that's all. If there's anything else you need to know, you can look at their website or I guess you could shoot me a comment or email or however you want to do it.